I win this war. Just barely, but I win it. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Oh, oh, fuck! I knew it was there and it didn't jump out sooner? Hey, dude. Mmm, those aren't even words I'm saying right now. Go look, it's a little alligator friend. Hello, buddy. Aren't you adorable? Oh, it's peeking up around the waterfall, wondering what's going on. Oh, look at it. It's, oh, it's climbing. Oh, that's not an alligator. It's a big, scary, fucking, horrific hell beast from the, the pits of Tartarus. I'm gonna regret this. Oh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna regret this, because I'm a fucking badass. That's what I am. Yeah, come on. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Jonathan is Bad at Dark Souls, where today we are going to be shifting gears a little bit from progress to gearing up for the next uh, piece of our adventure here. We just took out the Maw Dragon. Uh, all I did was farm for some green Titanite, and now we are back in Firelink Shrine. I didn't feel the need to show you my trek back here. It was kind of obnoxious. I didn't die. It was just kind of annoying. Oh, I don't like that guy. Do I talk to him yet? Yeah. That guy's kind of a douchebag, in case you haven't noticed. But I digress. Anyway, we're going to continue along. The next part of this adventure is getting the weapon, my weapon of choice. The Uchi Katana is nice, but I also like having a weapon with a little longer range. So we're going to be going for the Great Scythe, but before we can do that, I need a weapon strong enough to take out skeletons, because they're pretty obnoxious. So before I go for the Great Scythe, the first thing I like to do is come down here to the, um, I think it's, uh, it sounds so gross down here, uh, I think it's Old Londo, or the New Londo Ruins, I think is what it's called. It'll tell us here in a second. I'm going to grab this real quick. Because it's always nice to have souls, just in case. And as you can see, I had 10 humanity because I was farming. And I wanted to be sure that my humanity was not in vain. See, we're doing 124 damage right now to these... Yeah, New Londa Ruins. To these basic plebeians. I don't need to kill them. I believe, they're, I believe them to be mostly peaceful anyway. I think we can come up here and open a door... Yeah, we got a door open here. We don't need to go that way, though. That's another way into Blight Town if I choose to take it, which I won't because I I like to go the hard way. There's more souls that way, you know? And down here, and I missed it the first time and walked straight off this cliff, which is like a dangerous place to have a guy, but we have ourselves a smith. You gotta be careful talking to him, because if you run too much on the edge, it'll knock you right off. See, that's pretty fair of him, I think. So the thing we're going to want to reinforce is, of course, our Uchi Katana. Actually, it's not even reinforcement. We want to... Actually, is it reinforcement? Modify, I think, is what we want. Yes, and we're going to modify it to magic. And what you might notice, and from that point, and from that point we can reinforce, reinforce it further. And you might notice that it took away some damage, but the thing that it did was it added intelligence scaling to the weapon, as well as give it, you know, magic damage, which is nice. I um, farmed this green titan that you'll see is the resource from those slimes in the depths, and it took for, it took for. <gasps> it's so dumb. I just need to wait for dialogue. I just need to wait for dialogue. 
Luckily I saved here, so that's not too much of a problem. Just a minor inconvenience. But as I was saying, I made the pact that I would farm until 11 o'clock. Because it was getting kind of late, and if I didn't have enough Tide Night Shards, I would not record this episode for the evening. I would wait until I had more time to do it. But luckily I managed to get myself myself 11 Tide Night Shards to get it to plus 5 magic which means, which is good. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just like, um, the last one I got was a twofer. I managed to get two Titanite Shards in one round of farming for slimes. And that was quite nice. Anyway, I'll jump cut to getting my souls and we'll, I'll meet you back in Firelink. See you soon. One thing that I did want to show you before I went back to Firelink Shrine is the damage increase. See how it went to 223? That is why we need magic. It just increased the damage by like 50 just by doing that. And here soon, I guess I can show you this right now. As you can... Oh, how do I do this? Is it square? Yeah, square. As you can see, it now has D, D Dexterity Scalings and C Intelligence Scaling, which is what we want. We want that Intelligence Scaling, and the Dexterity Scaling is kind of a hybrid sort of damage, since we're going uh, we're going Intelligence and ultimately Dexterity for the increased spellcast speed. That's why uh, the Katana and other Dexterity weapons are good choices. A lot of people say that you shouldn't really um, enchant them with magic or enchantments because you do more damage if you cast the spell enchant weapons or magic weapon, but that's usually for PvP, and I find in PvE it's a lot easier to just uh, have the reliability of having it enchanted or magic, I suppose, instead of having to rely on a set amount of casts and hoping that you get them off before you need them. So that's what I do what I that's why I do what I do. Anyway, we're going to level up here. I think because I got what I need from him. Let me think about what we're going. We're going to the we're going to the catacombs. I don't think we need anything. So we're going to go ahead and get our 40 points in intelligence. And then we're going to put the rest into dexterity. And that should up our damage considerably. Not too much, but I, I suppose, but considerably enough. What level are we now? We are currently level 40. That's nice. That's good. That's a little ahead of what we need. I suppose I could have gotten some more spells from him, but we're not going to worry about that for now. For now, we're going to focus on getting through the catacombs, because that's going to take a lot of concentration on my part. Just because the skeletons are sons of bitches, I swear to God. Especially, okay, so the thing about the catacombs is skeletons have these butt buddies called pyromancers or necromancers, whichever you prefer. And if they're alive, the skeletons will continue to spawn. Yes, that's what we wanted, the one-hit KOs on the skeletons, if you could pull it off. And another thing is leveling up also grants me a few more resistances, so that is good also. We want to we wanna carefully go through here this time. We don't want to run through it like we did for the binoculars just because well for one thing oh shit okay for one thing doing that will pile them all up behind us and for another thing we can get more souls by killing them which is always nice I wonder why some of them die in one hit and some of them take two hits. That's interesting, but I don't honestly care all that much. What we're going to want to be careful of is here pretty soon we're going to run into some giant skeletons. And those are a little bit tougher to take down. Let's see how many hits they take with a single one. Oh! Two hits. Okay, so that's not too bad. We just need to be careful. The other skeletons take two hits also. That bone kind of startled me a little bit, but... Ultimately, we should be fine. I believe, anyway. We just need to be careful. These fucking skeletons. Dude, 
these skeletons ain't nothing to fuck with. I believe they can parry too, which is the honestly the most terrifying part about them. Because they do bleed damage, which is like a critical hit. So if they parry you, you're almost guaranteed to die in one shot. That's probably an overestimation of how much damage they'll do. But if I don't have full health, they will probably kill me in one hit. If I have full health, I should be fine, so I just gotta be careful. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna step back, we're gonna step back, we're gonna take a deep breath, we're gonna let this blood tick down a little bit. Then I'm gonna go in for the Oh, that was a bad idea, obviously. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that is taken care of. I think that's all the skeletons in the graveyard. We can continue down this path now without much of a worry. The thing about the catacombs is it's pretty much a suicide run the whole way through, so we have to be super careful and super aware of our surroundings. This place specifically has some exploding heads. And since there's a skeleton here, we gotta be careful, or the exploding heads will get us. You'll hear him scream here in a second. Maybe not. Maybe not. But we're not gonna worry about the skeleton, because it will just come back. Instead, we're gonna run down here, past all these skelly mans. Oh, and we're gonna take a left, and we're gonna go down this hallway, and go straight for the pyromancer. Oh, and I died in one hit. I should have paid attention to my health, but I didn't. That was my fault. And there's a bonfire right there mocking me for my idiocy. Hmm. I'll see you guys when I get back there. Hopefully I won't die. Okay, so we are back here running through the catacombs. We got a pyromancer. Ah, but this time he didn't get me. Oh, but he might if I'm not careful. Okay, he's gone. He's gone. The pyromancer is down. And now we can handle these skeletons like we needed to to begin with. I'm going to take an Estus Flash just to be safe because I don't trust it. Necromancers, by the way, do not respond when you rest at bonfires and things like that, which should be obvious by the fact that there's a bonfire right here, which I guess might be what they were trying to communicate when they designed the game that way. Interesting to think about. So now that we're here, we're going to kindle the bonfire. Okay, we can't kindle the bonfire, so we're not going to worry about it. We're going to hope that nine Estus Flasks will hold us, and we're going to push this lever in to open the door in the room back here. <laughs> we got a skeleton buddy here. Little does he know that he is no longer scary. Oh, it must suck to be you. They all lied to you. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to come down here. I'm going to... I'm gonna use some souls. I'm gonna use some souls in order to level up some dexterity. It's nice to have dexterity. Okay, I need 2,000 more souls. I believe that will give me extra damage, but maybe not. One more should be good. That should allow me to level up. Actually, I might as well use all my souls, see how far that will take me, and hopefully not lose them all. So we're not going to get rid of the Estus Flash just in case I need it for whatever reason, but we are going to put all of these souls in all of these slots. Just make sure we do this as fast as possible. I'm torn about using the Butterfly Soul. I don't know if I want to do that. Because while, you know, I'm not going to use it probably to make the weapon, it's always nice to have. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably going to be enough for two levels into Dexterity. Oh, we're just shy. We're just shy. But that should be good for now. That should be enough. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure we have the items that we need. Reduce bleeding. We might need that. We might need these at some point. And I know we're going to need the toxic ones for... And just some extra health for reassurance. We're definitely going to need the purple, the blooming ones for Blight Town when we get that far. Let's see if this helps us kill them in one hit. Not quite. Not quite what I was hoping for, but it'll do. It'll do. It'd actually be nicer to build up with some intelligence, I guess. I forget which one of these is the trap. I forget if these, any of these are the trap. Some of them are traps. Not those ones, though. 
Okay, so we have to be careful. Okay, so we can take that down. It's not really doing us any good. Oh, fuck. They're not doing us any good because they're going to respawn, but I have to get to the uh, Necromancer. Who is over here. Who? Oh god, I just need to run a little bit and catch him. Okay, so that that's good for now. We just gotta be careful about where we're going and what we're doing. I don't know if he can come back to life. Oh fuck, that guy caught me off guard. Okay, so that's good. I don't know if they can I don't know if they stay down yet. I think there's another necromancer around here. Oh fuck. Yeah, that was bound to happen, I'm sure. I don't know where they all came from. I'm thinking that they all belong to that other necromancer. Oh boy. Catacombs is rough, man. I don't know if anyone else is... Well, I'm sure other people have played it. People who are watching this video are probably into the Dark Souls scene or else they wouldn't be watching the video by now. But... Anyway... Man... This time, they sh the skeleton should stay down when I kill them because I managed to murder their boss. Aren't you a little shit lord? In fact, I'm gonna go with maybe taking them down with a soul arrow from afar is our best bet. Uh oh. Bad idea. Bad idea. Two should take them down, and I don't have to worry about those ones jumping at me. I should be able to take them out one by one. Actually, you know what? Probably take them out a great soul arrow. It's just a matter of making sure I get them before they get me. Where's the next one? There's one. Yeah. If I move slowly, get over here so that arrow can't get me. Uh, what'd he drop? A falchion. I don't need a falchion. What I do need is my souls back. Ah, uh, that's gross. Maggots moving around. What the I heard an exploding head go off. That was a little delayed, if you ask me. Probably hit that one from there. I don't know if there's any more right around the corner. I don't remember where they all are. I'm just cautious. Cautious. As a, now I know there's some in here. This, these guys are just waiting on me. Yep. That's where I thought for a fact that the other guy would be, but he's not there, so we're good. I know where the next one is. I think the issue is going to be getting him, because he's across a bridge with two skeletons. He's just generally difficult to get to. Oh, fuck. I don't know if that's a trap. It looks like it could have been a trap, but it's not a trap, as far as I know. Nope, not a trap. But they're luring me into a false sense of security. Oh, because that one's a trap. I didn't know that was a trap. I don't know why I decided to check it with my face, but, you know, I'm not the smartest bulb in the bunch. I'm not the brightest bulb in the bunch. What did I say, the smartest? I'm not that either. I'm not a very intelligent light bulb. Not that most, not that most light bulbs are. But at any rate, I am digressing. So we're going to turn to the... L that's that's where he was sniping me from the entrance. And the other guy is over there. Which I could potentially snipe if I had... Maybe binoculars would help. Maybe I could snipe it with the binoculars. Let's see if that is the case. I'm thinking... If I can aim it at this guy, I should be able to... Did I hit him? Did I hit him is the question. I don't think I hit him. Man, he is back there. Ah, oh, there he is. Let's get a good look at his chest. That should be the spot we're aiming for. I don't think so. I really need a bow, is what I need. 
but I don't have a bow, so we are out of luck. Ah, oh, this isn't good. Plenty of crossbows, no bows. The only thing we have to do is fucking run, I guess. Oh, skeletons and floating heads. Oh, skeletons and floating heads. Oh, no, be careful. Be careful, skeletons and floating heads. We don't need... I don't need you to be back sassing me. I need... I need this. I need to go down here. I need to get this. Don't ask me why I needed to get that, because it probably killed me in the long run, but I needed that, trust me. Oh god, I need Estus Flasks, is what I need. And then I need to run across this bridge as fast as possible and hope to the nine fucking whatever... Oh shit. Number of gods that these skeletons don't come after me first. Which it looks like they're going to. Okay. Oh, kill him. Kill him. God, please, no. Oh, god damn. And so here we face the issue of killing him again. Maybe I can bait the skeletons for... Oh, no, he's going to fire first. What an ass. Can I target the skeletons from here? Oh god, please, please. Good news, everyone. I'm a motherfucker. Oh my god, that was terrifyingly scary. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do it, but I was able to do it, so that is all the time I have for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being bad with me. Remember that failure is not the worst thing that can happen, and glow on with your bad selves. I will see you guys in the next episode, so stay awesome. Am I fucking eating Yuya? Am I fucking eating Yuya right now? This is a challenge, then. Choose your weapon, ma'am, and draw. Oh god, he was right. Of course he was right. Inside the box is a human head. The eyes are glassy.